Hi, this is Zoe. I'm a natural health business trainer and today is Mission Driven Friday. So today I'd like to talk about intrinsic value and uh, this came about uh, on my Facebook feed today uh, from Nita Tamo. Nita Tamo is a wonderful lady that I work with in designing my website. I'll include her website and service uh, in the description below. But uh, yes, let's talk about uh, business philosophy here and I'd just like to read uh, what uh, she says, and she was referring to, uh, this is in a conversation on, on Facebook, in the Facebook group that I'm in. So here's what she says, um, I think uh, that uh, my unorthodox philosophy on pricing uh, and value, without getting too much into it, um, I do not subscribe to the school of thought that equates my worth with what I am charging. So this is pretty interesting. Um, normally, you know, people are saying, charge what you're worth, you see. Uh, and I do not believe in any objective value to my products. So um, I'm relating this to one of the calls that I take because together with the website, um, she actually bundles in calls on how we can actually run um, an online course of our own based on our business. And one of the interesting things she mentioned was that uh, pricing is arbitrary. And actually, the price that you want to fix for your own products and costs, it uh, it is a reflection of how your brand and yourself. It is uh, quite arbitrary actually, and that kind of makes sense to me because you know the same information with um, branded names they charge at a certain price. So it really depends on how you want to brand yourself and who you want your target market is uh, to be. So that is how I'm just I'm reading this. So I I'll just read again. Um, I do not believe in any objective value to my products. My life philosophy holds that my value is internal and comes from who I am and what I do, and not from the time I spend on things, the money I charge for my time or products or my bank account balance. Therefore, my business philosophy is built on a sustainability model and not on ROI for product model. And in that sense, it is very radical and different from many others. So, uh, in another place, um, she talks about how she works and her 2018 goals. She says, I always work hard, always stay up late, always push myself. I've been doing that my entire adult life in every business or project I was ever involved in. So in that sense, nothing has changed for me. The only thing that changed in the last year and a half is my bank account balance. Okay, She says she's getting paid a ridiculous amount of uh, what she has always been doing. And she says, um, my goals of 2018 are not based on money or on working less, but rather they are based on what I am going to create and do. Uh, and I think this is so exciting, right? When we are not bound by, oh, the money, the money, the money. Now, I, I'm not saying that you should not have your stakes and there is no way to be accountable and to actually evaluate your business uh, objectively through the uh, amount of revenue that is coming in. But I think there is a difference between using your profits and money as a yardstick and making it as a goal itself um, there's a difference. I think a goal is more intrinsic. A goal should be a reflection of who you are and what you do. And I really like the idea. I mean, the way she says it really inspires me. 2018 is a time about uh, what I want to create rather than uh, how much money I want to bring in. Okay. Um, she There's a disclaimer here. Uh, and she says that I do agree that from a consumer perspective, people are used to equating cost with value, although there is no perfect correlation of cost. Right? It doesn't mean that you pay more means you get more. Neither does it mean that you pay less means you get less. Uh, even you know Tony Robbins was saying, right? Um, you know you need to put action. You can't just go for courses and like, you need to put action into what you do. So a lot of times it boils down to who we are. Okay, she says my business model presents a challenge to me, but that's where the branding, reputation and positioning plays a role. So um, I think it's very important uh, when we talk about a mission-driven business, is not just uh, the business being separate from who we are in and of ourselves. I think many times uh, it's important to note that it is an extension of who we are. It doesn't determine our self-worth or how successful we are. 
um, if we have clarity that um, who we are and our confidence and our self worth is more is more intrinsic. It comes from our values, our beliefs, and what we want to create from that. And in that sense, it is also very liberating when we actually look at our business as as an extension of ourselves. It is no longer a matter of how many views, how many likes, how many you know, uh, whatever people are talking. Of course, you know. What they're saying is important because that's feedback. But you know, even if there's flaming or you know, um, they call it uh negative uh cyber bullying, someone or some of my friends are saying, it's very important to be very confident about where we are come from, our branding, our intention. Because once we are clear about our motives and our intention and we are you know and, and our uh, desire, and that mustn't be tied to money. Uh, we can actually be very confident and bold in what we are presenting and in how we are serving the community. Yes, so that's my sharing today for Mission Driven Friday. I hope you find the content useful and thought provoking. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. I'll see you in the next video.